And, and leaping up there, looked a bit like you, Fatty, getting up there for the walking stick. Yeah, walk. very old for the walking stick. <laughs> but uh, speaking of upsets, well, we had one last night down at uh, Endeavour Field, at Caltex Field, it is called now, Cronulla. They just give it to Canberra, 38 points to 12, and one of their top players from last night joins us. Please make him welcome, Paul Green. Well, Paulie, what happened? I don't think it was an upset, Fatty. Oh, you haven't won a game there all year. I mean, you've won two out of eight at, uh, at your home ground. You got thrashed by the three Bulldogs last seven. week. Three from seven, yeah. I was close. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, a great night for you. Yeah, it was. It was, uh, it was a pretty important win, too. Like, as a side, we've, we've been down the last couple of weeks, so we dropped their game against St George, and we really didn't play that well against Canterbury last week, so it was a really mm. important win for us. So wh why the big turnaround, if there, if it was a turnaround during the week? Oh, I think it was just a pretty different build-up for us. Uh, usually, like, I don't know if you know John Lane, but it, it's a pretty intense sort of bloke. Mm. And uh, at, at training, you know, he's always, you know, on us about having our minds on the job and training hard and all that sort of stuff. But this week, it was a really pretty relaxed build-up, really, and I think the guys just went into the game feeling relaxed and mm. it showed on the field. Well, seven tries to two. Donaghy, uh, Boughton, Semmet, Raper, Greenhill and Long and uh, five goals there and Clyde and Croker. Canberra, um, you obviously played well to beat them. Did, you, did they have an off night? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, good no. effort. Give yourselves a wrap. No, no. I, um, you know, they, they were throwing the ball around like they usually do. I mean, Stuart and Dale, they were really chucking the ball around. But I think it, it just, our defence is really what won us the game. And, and we haven't really defended well for, for a week, a few weeks, as like I said before. But last night, we were just, you know, all over them, up in their faces. Always a hard side to score against Canberra, too. Your, your support play, from what we've seen on the screen so far, was, <coughs> was better than it usually is. Yeah, that's um, one area of our game where we really can improve, I reckon, our support play, especially when you've got, uh, you know, big fours uh, like Riddo and uh, Danny Lee. Those blokes going forward, they're good to back up. But, um, yeah, it really was a, a feature of last night's win support play. He's a good player, that Paul Donaghy. He formerly comes yeah. from Brisbane, doesn't he? Yeah, Brisbane he's from South, South yeah. yeah. And he's really shown some form now. I think he's been down a couple of years. Well done. He's going well. Yeah. Give you Baron Raper a rap too, Paul. I've, I've seen him. He's out a, a long time last season. And uh, he's got all the skills that you need from a dummy half. He's, he's slick off the ground. He can he can go out the line. And he's a good try scoring just there. Yeah, you know, he's a very skillful player, like you said. And he's, he's uh, pretty creative around the rucks too. So, like, it keeps a side on their toes. They can't really spread wide around the rucks. Paul, just interested in your opinion on the uh, on New, former New Zealand captain Tawira Nakao. Uh, he came out to Australia in 1988 as a as a 20 year old just to have a, a an education process with Canterbury. He went back to captain uh, captain his country and playing England, and he's in the Winfield Cup now. How do you find him? Um, I think last night was a pretty important game for him too. I, I think he he was struggling a bit with his form, and you know there was a fairly high expectations of him when he came out here, and um, you know he probably wasn't playing the way he he naturally plays. You know, he's a bit of a ball player. I think last night he just got out there and, and did what he did does best. What about E.T.? He's uh, still looking good and uh, playing some good football? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, on both accounts. <laughs> no, uh, he, he did, he played well last night. There wasn't really a bad player in our team last night. No. Did Adam Richardson see much football last night? Is yeah, he came on important? after about 25 minutes, I think, and um, <coughs> come on again late in the game. Yeah, he was a good, it gives us a, a real lift when he comes yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is a huge boost for you as far as your top eight claims are concerned mm. because you've got a, a hard run in. Mm. Uh, you've got to play, I think you've got to play mainly it and, and possibly in Newcastle. Yeah, we've got, uh, well, Newcastle we play last, but uh, in the coming weeks, I think we've got Brisbane next week, uh, North, Manly. Mm. So, so it's a hard run, hard but so that's a big boost for you as far as yeah, getting the two points and it keeps you up there with the rest of the yeah, side. The important thing is, I think, that we build on that. Like, it was a good performance, but we've got to sort of play like that every from here on. The important thing being that you did play well, return to some very good form, and you've got to carry it on now. Yeah, that's right. Johnny Lang, he's an interesting bloke. He's, he's quite media shy, but he's, as I said, he's a very intense man. Mm. Tell us a bit about how he goes about preparing you for a game. Oh, he's, um, he's very thorough, like, uh, you know, he'll go through <coughs> any videos he can get his hands on. You're right, Phil. I'm going to die. <laughs> get it up, you're right. <laughs> no, like, he, he's, you know, he goes through all the videos he can yeah. on the sides we're playing, and, you know, he really uh, does his homework on the sides that we play. And so, um, you know, he, he expects the same from us. Well, that'll be a loss at Canberra. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't go too well down there, would it, Block? No, especially after their form last week against Newcastle. Mm. They blew him off the park, but uh, I'm sure that they'll... You know, they'll be there when the whips are cracked at the end of the year. Right, so a great uh, victory for the Cronulla supporters out there. 38 to 12 over Canberra. Magnificent night for them and good to see you winning back at your home ground on a Saturday night. Uh, very hard to beat there normally and you've shown that once again you're back to form. Thanks, uh, Paul Green. He's going to stay with us for the brain strain. And we'll see you 
after this break, we'll have a brain strain in about three and a half minutes. See you then. Bye.